Well, hello everyone. My name is Réjean Favin. I'm a teacher with the uh, chemistry department. So uh, on behalf of my colleagues and myself, I would like to welcome you to the chemistry department and uh, to this uh, virtual tour of our uh, facility. So we hope that uh, you will enjoy the presentation and that we'll be able to answer uh, several of questions that you may have along the way. So please follow me. As you will see, uh, we have uh, had the plexiglass installed and uh, wipes and disinfecting sprays are also available. So in these uh, COVID times, we have implemented additional protocols to ensure the health of our students and personnel. Now, in these times, uh, exceptionally, students are working individually, uh, wearing masks uh, and maintaining uh, physical distancing. But uh, even in this context, and even with, even with uh, fewer labs, uh, as a department, we still felt that it was necessary for students to perform lab experiments. Uh, it helps in connecting with the material, the course material, and uh, of course, it helps in building up uh, lab competencies that will be uh, useful in the future uh, studies. In the past uh, 10 years or so, uh, the college invested greatly and the uh, renovations of our three labs. So we are very proud now to offer a uh, well-equipped uh, workspace and very much adequate uh, workspace for the realization of uh, college uh, chemistry experiments. We are here in the room A516. This is the general chemistry lab. This is the first chemistry course in the science program. And uh, for example, of topics that we uh, cover in this course, we're mentioning uh, the model of the atom. So we're going from the Bohr atom that you may uh, remember from high school to uh, the quantum mechanical uh, probabilistic model. Uh, we are covering notions like chemical bonds. We're talking about intermolecular forces. We're talking about periodic properties. So a variety of topics, uh, some of them uh, building up, of course, on what you've learned in high school and going into greater detail. Usually the way it works is that uh, students are working in teams of two, uh, following a procedure that is found in the lab manual and uh, getting results and later on uh, completing lab reports and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, we have, uh, again, a variety of experiments that connect with the, uh, the, the course material and the idea is uh, for you also to build up uh, lab skills that will be very useful later on either in other chemistry course at the college or uh, lab skills uh, at university. We are now in the room A544. Uh, this is our chemistry of solutions uh, uh, lab. Uh, chemistry of solution is the second course, second chemistry course in the program. And uh, topics that are, we are covering in this course will include uh, chemical kinetics, so speed of reactions, uh, chemical equilibria, so talking about those uh, reversible uh, reactions, uh, acids, bases, buffers, uh, and more. Here we are in the A570 room. Uh, this is our organic chemistry lab. Uh, organic chemistry is a very important topic uh, for students uh, wishing to pursue careers in the health discipline. Uh, the organic chemistry course, uh, although being an option course uh, in the program, uh, happens to be a prerequisite for such uh, programs at universities. So examples of topics uh, that are covered in uh, organic chemistry are uh, the stereochemistry, so we're referring to shape of uh, molecules. Uh, reactions of uh, different kind of organic compounds like the alkanes, the alkenes, the aromatic compounds, etc. Um, you will also get to perform lab experiments and uh, may have to use some uh, specialized equipment and apply organic uh, techniques so which are different from uh, the techniques that uh, you would have learned in the general chemistry and the chemistry of solution course. It is also in the A570 lab that we are performing experiments associated with our chemistry of the modern world option courses. We have two courses. One is focusing on food and drugs, where we discuss uh, matters of uh, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, uh, 
prescription drugs, uh, antibiotics, uh, etc. And uh, another course that we have is uh, focusing on health and beauty, uh, which will discuss cosmetics, perfumes, we'll be talking about air pollution, uh, and so on. So in this lab, we uh, also use uh, organic chemistry techniques. So if you haven't taken the organic chemistry course, you still have uh, a chance to uh, perform such techniques. So whether you're making soap, extracting caffeine, or testing for analgesic, uh, this would be the place. Now, nobody's going to be testing personally analgesics and no students have been harmed in the production of this presentation. So another course that we are offering uh, in the department, an option course, another option course, is uh, physical chemistry. In this course you will uh, be covering notions like uh, kinetics, uh, thermodynamics, uh, so exchange of energy during reactions and uh, notions of uh, quantum mechanics, a bit more advanced and uh, also spectroscopy. So lab experiments uh, will allow you to, uh, for example, use uh, advanced equipment uh, in the realization of experiments. So there are uh, numerous uh, resources available at Vanier, both uh, course-related material and uh, non-course-related uh, material. And there are several people that are, that are willing to help you and uh, guide you in your studies. Here uh, we have the chemistry resource room. So as you can see, we have uh, a lot of chemistry books uh, that you can uh, access. So it is a study room. It is a like a walk-in clinic uh, room as well. Uh, you will find uh, chemistry teachers that will offer their time uh, to answer questions from students. And it doesn't have to be your teacher. So if your teacher is not available at a specific time, you can come here and uh, seek some help. All right, so again, uh, we hope that uh, you have enjoyed this presentation and uh, should you have any more questions, uh, don't hesitate to visit our webpage on the Vanier website. And uh, also you can contact us at chemistry at vanniercollege.qc.ca. So thank you for your attention and uh, we hope to see you soon.